Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. Imagine if today I said, hey, would you like a cup of coffee? And I gave you this cup, and I gave you this curry cup, and said, here, go have a cup of coffee. Probably you would scratch your head and think, well, maybe I need a curry machine, and maybe I need some water to make that complete. Otherwise, yeah, that's great to have a cup and the Keurig, but we need a little bit more to complete that cup of coffee. Sometimes that is how our relationship is with God. We say, hey God, yeah, I'll give you some stuff here. Take this and maybe this. And God is thinking, hmm, I, I think there's something missing there. In our scripture lesson that we're reflecting on this week from Paul's second letter to the church at Corinth, chapter 8, verses 7 through 15, Paul is reminding the Corinthians to give their best, to give their all, that God hopes and prays that we do our best in sharing God's love, God's goodness, and sharing all that God has graced us with, sharing our time, our resources, it doesn't mean that we need to deprive ourselves necessarily so that someone else has something, but it means don't do things half-baked, to give God the best that we have to give, to give our all, to not hold back, that God is expecting us to do our best. And whatever we do, whether big or small, that God knows that we have given our best and that's all that matters, that God values our effort and our generosity. So let us be generous this day and every day with our time, our talents, our resources, giving our best so that all God's people might have their needs met and that most importantly, all God's people will know of God's grace, God's love, and God's goodness. Go out there and give your best. May God bless you and guide you.